Alex Drain as the Eagles win again, a battle atop the pack west. Alex, you guys were kind of against the ropes a little, get, a little bit at the start of the second half. They kind of controlled possession, but then you guys put two goals on him. Specifically, your goal was kind of the, the, the nail in the coffin, so to speak. What did you do on that play? How were you set up uh, by Alexis? Um, honestly, it kind of started with the transition up the field. Um, we were really good just kind of getting it through the middle and finding our wide, which is what our game plan really is. Um, Lex was able to dribble it all the way down to the end line, and I just kind of saw the gap between the defenders and threw my body in hoping that something would get it. So, you know, What kind of perseverance does it take from you guys to, to hold it on a game like this that's really tight for pretty much the whole way, and then you guys pull through at the end? Yeah, I mean, we were kind of struggling a little bit in the first half trying to figure out what our game plan should have been, and I think we just really stuck to what we know best, and... You know, being first place right now is kind of the drive that we keep going with, and I just think that we're all really into this this year. So it's great to have these ladies. I owe it all to them, and it's just been a great year. All right, well, congratulations for school of the year today, and uh, you. wish you guys good luck as you keep going this year. Right. Women's coach Chris Gould, another day, another win for the Eagles at home today. Coach, an even first half, and then I kind of use the term, they kind of had you guys up against the ropes to start that second half. You guys hung on, an own goal kind of opened your offense. You end up winning 3 nothing. Kind of walk us through the uh, first half and second half of that game. We did not do – I don't think we did a very good job of uh, what we're calling playing the game on our terms. We, we played that game really open. And um, as a kind of a credit to Dixie State, they did a lot of stuff that disrupted us. And, um, you know, they're a good team. And I think a 3 nothing scoreline is kind of flattering for us. They were, they were in it all the way. So um, – you know, that, that first goal is what changed everything. We can kind of sit back and let them really open up and try to come at us. And then we were able to take advantage of their of their um, taking risk and trying to get forward. So for us, it's, you know, it was good to get that, that first goal and to kind of set the rest of the game up for us. But um, they, that, that was a good team that we played. And like I said, 3 nothing is a little bit harsh on them. But, you know, we'll, we'll take the goals that we got and uh, move forward to the next game. You know, when they're controlling the possession like they did early in the second half, what do you tell your girls to, to hang in and then you guys are eventually flip the flip the script in the rest of the game uh, from that point on? Well, it's just picking the moments when we want to go get the ball. And, and um, when you do it, you just won't, don't want to be exposed. And I think in the first half and in the first part of the second half, we just weren't um, – we, were, we were giving away too much when we were trying to go get the ball. So uh, we changed that up and our girls stayed disciplined and they started seeing the results of, of winning the ball higher up the field in our, in our shape. And um, – you know, it worked, so it's a credit to them for, for getting back to it, and that's what helped. So, now, Two more games next week, last two home games against uh, some more Hawaiian schools. What are you looking to get out of your team as you guys wrap up uh, your home games this year? Just to see us continue the momentum and continue the the team fight that we have for one another, and this group is, uh, has been pretty incredible, and it, if they could put it together for the whole season, that'd be uh, that'd be pretty nice to, to see them do that for them and, and you know, this group really works to help glorify God as much as they can, and they're really embracing that part, and it's a day-to-day -day excellence thing, and that's the part that I'm so proud of, of watching them go through that journey. All right, Coach. Well, still on top in the pack. Well, that's another impressive win today, so uh, congratulations.